Hello, my name is Edward Carnby, and I'm playing Alone in the Dark 3. Now, this is actually Mark playing Alone in the Dark 3, playing Edward Carnby, who is uh, going back. No, Emily needs me. This is the demo of Alone in the Dark 3. It's gone across this bridge. I'll show you what happens if you don't cross the bridge. There's a man and dog there. Waiting, waiting, just waiting there. And um, if you approach him, he will shoot you. Now we have got a 38 special that we can use, but um, I don't think it's gonna do any good. So we can't go back. Oh, hell and damnation, that's it for me. We haven't actually set one step into the game yet, but we're already hanging in front of some saloon. Dead, presumably. And this death scene, uh, you can't skip it unless you have saved the game. But it's quite extensive, I would say. Also reminds me of Ecstatica, a game that came out a year later. Andrew Spencer, which I really liked. And I really want to like Alone in the Dark 3 as well. At least I really enjoyed part 1 and... Well, part 2. Never mind part 2, but um, I really still like to like the game but it's very very difficult and I'll show you in this demo exactly why that is in my opinion that is okay so we're gonna start a new game again this time we're not gonna turn back but we're going to head straight for the bridge and we're just gonna fall into the ravine why? Uh, because there's another scene here, two people having a drink to us. Not sure who these people are, I think the left is the villain of the game. Maybe the right is the mortician. I really have no idea. Anyway, this, this scene goes on for quite a while as well. They're just uh, sitting there and toasting, so... Nothing really to be seen there. Just going to start a new game again, because I haven't saved. Okay, this time I'm, uh, I'm actually going over the bridge because, you know, I've got to get on with the game. Now in this scene we are being welcomed by a hooded man. Welcome to Slaughter Gulch. Or should I say Slaughter Gulch? And we're blown to bits. <laughs> now, I don't care who you are, but no one survives a dynamite blast from that distance. But of course, it's a game mark, so let's, let's continue. We saw a guy just going into the saloon. But before we go into the saloon, I just want to show a few of the areas. This gate is closed. Now, where are we exactly? This is the map. We are there, apparently. And already the music is getting on my nose. This door is locked. It smells like trouble over there. Yeah, there's someone already pointing a gun at us, which isn't good. We can take a shot at him. Because when we do, 
He actually is respawning, so that's uh, that's no good. The other door also closed. What about this alley? Yeah, another one of those guys. So there's only one way to go. And that's into the saloon. But before we do, we're going to pick up this gas can. There's another scene over here. I don't think there's anything you can take, but I just thought I'd show it to you. Let's go in. First things first, let's see what this machine does. Or what it is. It's this oil can. Okay, let's take it. Staircase is broken. This is some sort of projector. We have an action open search. Nothing. Have to actually get on this side before he makes a comment. Generating set is out of gas. We have a gas can. Okay, some ghosts from the balcony attacking this man. Crew coming to see if he's alright, and I think he is. Ooh. There's the horse. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. What else is here? Something on the table here. Now you see, he's turning into fighting mode, and I don't know, but I, I was... I didn't change that. I was still looking. But we can take the key. There's a lot of clumsiness when it comes to the alone in the dark, and that's one of the things I really just don't don't like or can't appreciate much. What's this? Mm, the Maraca, okay, take. One of the clumsy things, I think, is the, the camera angles. For example, if we go to the left here, you know, we, we come here, we go to the left again. No, we come here, but if we go to the right here, we almost come into the same kind of scene, so it's, for me, it's very confusing. Anyway, what else is there in this demo? Well, one thing that you can see there is this oil lamp. That's not in the full version. The lamp is somewhere else. I'll show you where it is in a while. First, we need to dodge uh, this guy here, who just starts shooting at us. You can see that we, we are being hit. You know, he's like taking hits. I think in the full version you can't be hit. Yeah, I think he's had enough. So let's take it. No, you gotta be so close to these objects, I mean... Nah. Okay, here's some things. Wood alcohol, a bottle and a flask. Take a swig of this flask. Also need to throw the bottle because there's something inside.
a token, which we are going to take. And we're going to take the broken bottle as well, otherwise we would just be <sighs> breaking our back over it. There is something here you can do as well. You can push this on, whatever it is. Did I not just push it? I'm not in the right place, so moving one inch. Another goon, who doesn't come and bring us a glass of water, but actually shoots us. And we haven't got really any way of defending ourselves besides shooting him, but I really don't like to shoot. But we are going to give him a punch or two. Yeah. Is that the most annoying sound in the world? In the full game, he will leave two items. One is the Ace of Diamonds, and the other is a Gold Bullet. Or oh, Golden Bullet. No such things in the demo. In the full version, you have to insert the token here into the piano. Uh, why? And how? And, 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 and why is there no clue whatsoever? Don't ask me. Uh, use... <sighs> token? Use. Uh, he won't even say uh, he's in the wrong place unless you are behind it. Jedstone came to the field of Braves. <sighs> Buried his hands in Mojave graves. He found himself a golden bird. And soon the wind done spread the word. Yeah, this is a rhyme, I think. Prospectors came from miles around. Eleven days they dug the ground. But there was evil in that mud, and Slaughter Gulch was born in blood. Now you see this uh, background stayed the same even though I pressed the spacebar to uh, change the image. And I'm not sure why, why it isn't flowing, it's, it's just... <sighs> the whiskey seller, he came too, and hid his liquor out of view. Mm -hmm. The varmint who can turn that horn and tell the tale just ain't been born. Eleven days and nights did pass. <sighs> and Sheriff Dawson came at last. Yeah. He swore his band of lawless men would follow Stone until the end. Now in the full version you'll get the lantern here. Now by inserting a token into a piano, which is a very small portion of the screen, with no clues, and then obtaining the lantern. You know, that, that's the kind of logic that you... Well, implying. I, I, I thought the leaving the lantern here on top of the bar was a much better idea. Anyway, I'm gonna get through to this with this demo because I'm, I'm really fed up with it. And this is another great example. Here we are, alone in the dark. There's nothing you can do. We've got an unlit, unlit lamp, which we can use. Shoot, here I am, alone in the dark. Yeah, okay, so no clues. We've got a box of matches. We use these. No, can't use that either. Well, we have to light. Use the oil can. The reservoir is full. Now, you can see that the interface is just very, very weird. You can't actually see if the uh, if the lamp, the unlit lamp now is full or uh, the reservoir is full, it says. 
So let's use the matches. No, it doesn't work. Oh, now we got the lit lamp. But if we got a lit lamp, wouldn't it be lit already? It just doesn't make any sense. And where is the lamp? Why isn't he not holding the lamp? Ah. Uh, this is just aggravating. Anyway, I'm gonna get the cane. And then we're going to have a look at this map. And you've got to be really right in front of it, otherwise you won't recognize it. No. You see, apparently that's not close enough. You've got to be right here. Oh, for God's sake, just look at the map. Ah, there he goes. There's no voice over here. Uh, in the full version, it says, Burris, you old worming, get through the barrel and bring a ball to my cell. Signed, Lefty. Well, something very similar to that. Now, you can see that the word signed is actually written out. It's not supposed to be written out, it was a voiceover. Ugh. You can, okay, you can argue that this is a French way of doing things, but I mean, I played Alone in the Dark, I played Flashback, I played all the games from the French companies, but this one just sucks. Another example right here. We walk up to this door and it says the door is locked. Now we have a key, um, which we can use, but just by looking at the door, let's take another one, for example let's say the second one just by looking at the door yeah the door is locked yeah a door opens all of a sudden and a dragon comes out well i'll be darned i <laughs> didn't see that coming let, let's try my frustration again. We're back. Let's try it again. Yeah, the issue with the door. Let's take the third door. Uh, door is locked. Looking at the door. This is of no use here. Uh, I don't know why. I haven't even used anything. But if we do use the key. Uh, you can't use this here. This is of no use here, that's what he says when uh, when he looks at the door, but when you look at the door from here, yeah, it just opens, and uh, some snakes are there, and also again, this door also opens up with, uh, with the dragon. Now, just looking at the door, I mean, did, do we still have the key? Yeah. Did we use it? No. Did the door open? Yeah. Was it locked? Yeah. Does this make any sense? No. But we need to get rid of these snakes and um, we've got some sort of gadget here and, 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 and don't ask me why, but this is gonna even make more or less, less sense because the snakes are now leaving the door and just going to the corner. Why? There is no logic. Okay, we got past we got past it, but why? I I I've got the thing. Shouldn't they be following me? Oh my god! I'm so glad that this demo is over. Yeah, this is about <laughs> explains a little bit how I feel at the moment. Return to DOS, please. Oh. Some sort of boxed animation, this is great. And another promo, I can't even read that. It says, settle up for a 3D adventure in the wildest west ever. 
As 1920s super sleuth Edward Carnby, you'll solve puzzles and uncover clues explaining the disappearance of someone that went way too fast. Uh, your Wild West Adventure. Oh, okay. That's it. Playing the demo. I'm done with this. Hope you enjoyed it, though. Bye.